All right, welcome to my video. My name is Equigen. The Golden Harvest Festival makes its return for 2018. The event this year is different from the previous year as they have made some changes. So I'm going to explain how the event works. By completing the daily challenge, you get three Golden Harvest crates. Each Golden Harvest crate has a base reward, which is the Golden Harvest Revitalizer. And that replenishes Dragon Blood up to 10 times and can only be used in Mushin's Tower and Outlaw Islands. Whenever you open the crate, you'll receive a prompt here and you'll be given three choices. And depending on your choice, it's going to yield a unique item. So if you want the Harvest Wine, you're going to need two Yungsang Prayer Beads. The Prayer Beads are from Mushin's Tower, floor 16 to 20. If you want the Thanksgiving Invitation, you need two Mutineer coin pieces, and the Mutineer coin pieces are from Outlaw Island. And if you want the Hong Moon Jade, that requires two Tranquility Emblem Fragments, and the Tranquility Emblem Fragments are from Circle of Sundering. So next step is to gather all six of these materials here, which is from all six crafting guilds. So Radiant Lamp is from Radiant Ring, Fine Silverware is Forge Keepers, Dining Table is... Um, what are they called again? Soul Wardens. Secret Family Recipe is from Earthseers. Raw Turkey is Acquired Taste. And then Autumn Ale is Silver Cauldron. So to produce those materials, go to your crafting order. And each material is going to require two medium, or two normal, and two premium, plus your gold fee. And if you do not have any of these materials here, just go to material ordering and then I would recommend doing normal processing and then typically I do one day but it's up to you guys and that's all you do and since a character can have a maximum of two crafting guilds I would re recommend having alts for this event as they can cover your other uh, guilds that you don't have on your main that way all your crafting needs are basically covered now, those materials are on the uh, market as well, so you can buy them from the market. However, I would imagine for the first couple days of the event, there would be very high demand, so I would, you know, they're, they're going to be really pricey. So I recommend just sticking to crafting until maybe a week later, once prices have settled down. So once you have all these materials here, you can now craft the Harvest Feast boxes. And there are three types of boxes. There's the kids' table, grown-ups table and the elders table and all three require two of each material plus they're unique so the kids table that's the harvest wine which if you recall that's the yung sang prayer bead grown-ups table is the thanksgiving invitation which is the mutineer coin elders table is the hong moon jade and that's the tranquility emblem fragment now these three boxes each have their own targeted audience so to say so for the kids table it's more for newer players who are fresh in gear because it contains more BT themed loot uh, the grown-ups table it's like a mid tier so it's sort of like VT so to say and then the elders table that's more like TT because it's got you know grand celestial steel and grand celestial wings but all in all essentially the elders table is the best loot so to say like best uh, table that you could craft and that requires the Hong Moon Jade so if you're only focused on the elders table all you need then is the tranquility emblem now all these harvest feast they contain the Thanksgiving prize wheel pouch and that's RNG if you do get it or not so if you're lucky once you have one you head to Hogshead Hamlets, and this wheel right here, you'll be able to interact with it once you have a pouch on you. So you just spin it, and you'll randomly get an item. Uh, some items you can get from this pouch is like an oil, um, pet pods, premium transformation stones, just to name a few. The event outfit is also from this uh, wheel spin as well, and it's called Promise Keeper. So this is how it looks. And I'll show you guys on each race.
And then here's the males. All right, so the last thing for this event is the achievement. So Stomach of Iron. So it's the same um, achievement from the previous year. So if you already have this achievement, you don't have to worry about it. If you missed it, here's your chance to get it again. So to get this achievement, you need to eat, of the, you need to eat the following items. Rotten pumpkin pie, not so well done steak, and then cold stale greasy potatoes. So that is also found in transmutation. So rotten pumpkin pie, you need 30 radiant lamps, 30 fine silverware. The steak, you need 30 dining tables, and then 30 of the secret family recipes. And then for the potatoes, you need 30 turkeys, and then 30 ales. So you only have to make one of each. Once you consume them, they'll be checked off. And then your next objective is to de defeat Xanos five times. So Xanos is the final boss in Naryu Sanctum. Once you've done that, you'll get a check mark. Once all this is complete, you'll automatically receive the achievement, which comes with a bonus attribute of 11 AP and the title called Calorie Burner. So there we go. That about sums up the event. Uh, hopefully that uh, you know helped you guys. Now all my social links are in the video description. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.